Hi, this is Joe and welcome back. In this video we're going to take a look at the Quinn half inch drive uh, digital torque adapter. I've been eyeing this for quite some time and wanted to pick one up and uh, see just what it will do. Uh, I purchased this from Harbor Freight. Uh, Amazon is selling uh, the same unit for uh, just over $40. At Harbor Freight I picked this up for uh, $29 and change plus tax would be a little over 30 bucks. So let's cut this uh, out of the package and uh, take a look at it and do some testing with it and see how it works. The digital torque adapter comes with its own case, the actual digital torque adapter. It comes with, a, it has a half inch drive and it comes with some, some adapters uh, half inch to three eighths and half inch to one quarter. Um, it comes with a, a little instruction brochure um, and on it, if you look at the fine print, uh, it is copyrighted by Harbor Freight, so apparently they, uh, when they import it, they uh, uh, put their own br brand name on it. Now this Quinn unit appears to be a newer model uh, than their older model. The older model was labeled or branded Pittsburgh, which is one of the Harbor Freight uh, uh, line of tools that they carry, but this appears to be now a Quinn, which is a newer line. Here's the certificate of inspection. Uh, I've watched uh, other YouTube videos that they've also included the uh, uh, shot of the certificate of inspection. And these values uh, on those certificates are different. The only thing that I'm questioning, uh, they always seem to use a quality manager of Jack and inspector of Allen. So, and these are also not signed uh, in pen. They look like they've been uh, copied. So. I don't know how accurate they are, but uh, there, uh, there, there's also a version 2 August 2010 date on there. So it appears to be a, a different calibration or certification of inspection sheet than the others that I've seen on YouTube. Let's talk about specs. The drive is a half inch drive, as we mentioned. The accuracy is plus or minus 2%. Uh, the torque range is 29.5 foot pounds to 147.5 uh, foot pounds. Um, in playing around with this, uh, I've been able to um, get it down to 7.4 foot-pounds up to a maximum of 147.5 foot-pounds. So I'm uh, not sure uh, if this is a, a typo on the documentation or if the calibration range, which is also given the minimum calibration on the sheet, is uh, 29.5. So not sure about that. There's nothing in the instructions that uh, indicate that. Uh, when we first turn the unit on, you hear the beep. Notice it says trace and uh, it also shows uh, a PTOP which is a peak measurement and the trace uh, actually and I'll show you how that works here in a minute. The trace allows you to as you uh, apply pressure uh, with your your socket wrench uh, or ratchet it will change the values. Uh, at peak it will hold the maximum peak value uh, that you're torquing to even though you let off the pressure on the ratchet where in trace mode uh, as you increase uh, the torque and decrease the torque it will uh, show real in real time the changing values uh, of that torque range or that torque value. Um, one thing I did notice is there's no backlit display on this and I was really hoping that there would be because if you're underneath a vehicle or, or in some dark corner working and you need to set a torque value um, and if it's dark you may or may not be able to read the display uh, fairly clearly. So that's one thing uh, that uh, I didn't really like. Uh, notice when we were just sitting here chatting uh, it to shut itself off which is a really nice feature and uh, uh, it says it will shut off after 70 seconds. Uh, the unit itself takes uh, two AAA batteries and they did provide the batteries with the unit and on the back of the unit there was a little pull tab where you pull that little plastic tab out and it then activates the uh, the circuit of the batteries. So One thing I've noticed uh, when you first turn the unit on there's a a minus, 
a plus, an M, which is for memory, and a PT, which allows you to change from that uh, peak torque setting or trace setting. So let's turn the unit on. And uh, if you press, the there's three different units of torque uh, range here. If you push the PT and the memory together, you notice it will first read at the top here, uh, kilograms per meter. If you press it again, it will then read uh, newton meters. If you press it a third time, it will then read foot pounds. Uh, and then if you just let it set there, then it will uh, it will come back. Uh, I've noticed that it, until you do that setting, if you turn the unit back off and turn the unit back on, and then if you press uh, either the plus or the minus, in this case, notice it's 7.4 foot-pounds. So that is the minimum I've been able to get this uh, torque adapter to read. If you don't do the the setting of the units, it always seems when you turn the unit back on to default around 73, 74 foot-pounds. So by setting the units, um, and it appears that the default for this device is foot-pounds, um, you then, if you if you then pr go through and set that, then it will allow you to remember the torque setting that you last set. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we have the minimum torque now at 7.4. So let's go ahead and put a, a ratchet on here and I'll show you actually how these settings work on the, on the torque wrench adapter. Let's turn the unit on. I have a, a ratchet and I also have the adapter uh, in my vise so we can apply torque uh, to the half inch drive end of the uh, torque uh, adapter here. Or, yeah, so let's go ahead and turn it on. And first, we're going to talk about the uh, peak reading. Notice that when it first came up, it said trace. So if I push the PT button again, it will now read the, uh, the peak rating. So as I apply torque, notice, watch the green light. Torque starts reading and starts increasing as I apply pressure to the ratchet. Then when we get up to within 20% of the value, and you'll notice that, that there will be, let me hold the vise here. Notice the beep, beep, beep. And we're at 6.6 .6 foot-pounds. If I keep on going, notice it reads the uh, beep changes to uh, a steady beep. And then... The display shows, and in this case, because we're on the setting of peak, it says 7.9. Okay, so uh, that is the peak. Let's go ahead and uh, change it now to trace. Okay, and now watch what happens as I apply torque. As I apply torque and it increases, it will increase the reading, but as I decrease torque, the readings go back down. That's the difference on trace versus peak. Now when our setting on the adapter is in uh, peak torque, let's change that. Now we're in peak. Notice uh, it comes back and it's ready now when it reads 0, .0. .0. So now if we apply a torque, let's say we get up to a maximum here of, let's go 5 foot-pounds and then we release. If we press memory, notice it says P01. You have 50 memory slots and as you see now it remembered and stored that five foot-pounds in memory. So if I push the memory button again, P02, 7.7, P03, uh, 0 because uh, we haven't stored that many values uh, in the actual adapter but there is a 50 memory slot so uh, I really like that feature where you can come in and you can set the plus and minus and then you have the capability of either using a uh, peak reading or a trace reading I would say venture to say that it would be much easier to use the peak rating because as you apply torque and then you stop Notice it saves on the display the highest value of torque that you've applied 
to your adapter. So that's quite nice. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm going to use this uh, unit in an upcoming test of testing some uh, impact drivers, but all in all I think this is a really nice device. The only thing that I really wish it had was the backlit display. So hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.